Welcome to the Introduction to Rapid Deploy video tutorial. During this brief video, I'll explain what Rapid Deploy is, why you would want to use it, and I'll describe the three Rapid Deploy methods you can use to configure a Firebox or XTM device. Rapid Deploy is a cloud based service provided by WatchGuard that lets you upload and store a configuration file for your Firebox or XTM device. When your device is first powered on, or any time it is reset to factory default settings, it can automatically download and apply a configuration file. It's up and running with no local IT staff required. There are several ways you can use Rapid Deploy. Perhaps you want to send a new device directly to a remote location that doesn't have a network administrator to set it up. You can create a configuration file for the device, then upload the file to the WatchGuard cloud servers. Or maybe you use the centralized management feature set and have new remote sites you want to set up through your management server. You can register your management server with the WatchGuard Deployment Center. WatchGuard creates a rapid deploy configuration file for each device so the devices know the IP address of your management server. Finally, if you have a new Firebox T10, let WatchGuard supply you with a recommended configuration file and get it up and running in one easy step with Rapid Deploy Quick Start. Let's take a closer look at each of the Rapid Deploy methods. If you want to create a configuration file for your device and upload it to WatchGuard's cloud servers, you must make sure of two things. First, that the configuration file you create is configured for the correct device model. And second, that the configuration file is compatible with the version of FireWare XTMOS installed on the device. Before you create the configuration file, check the product details page for the device you want to deploy and check which OS version it was manufactured with. The recommended method is for you to configure the local device, which must be the same model and run the same OS version as the remote device, with the settings you want the remote device to use. You can then use the FireWare XTM Web UI to save the configuration to a local file. If you want to use Policy Manager to save a configuration file for the same device model, you can do that as well. With this method, you must use a Policy Manager version that is the same as or lower than the version of FireWare XTM OS installed on the device you want to configure remotely. To upload a configuration file for an activated device, log in to the WatchGuard website and go to the Product Details page for that device. In the Rapid Deploy section, click Change Configuration and then click Choose File. Finally, browse to the configuration file you created. This Rapid Deploy option is supported for Firebox devices and for XTM devices manufactured with FireWare XTM version 11.6.3 or higher. If you use centralized management, you can use Rapid Deploy from the management server. To use Rapid Deploy from the management server, register your management server with the WatchGuard Deployment Center. Then, create a CSV file that lists up to 50 devices you want to deploy for each management server. Import this file to the WatchGuard Deployment Center to create a basic configuration file for each device that sets the IP address that the device must use in order to connect to your management server. Once the rapid deploy process is complete and the device has contacted the management server, you can follow the usual network configuration and centralized management processes to configure the network settings, change to fully managed mode, and apply a device configuration template. After you enable rapid deploy from the management server, you can see the rapid deploy status on the deployment status page in the deployment center, as well as on the product details page for that device. Finally, you can use the Rapid Deploy Quick Start method. This is an option for Firebox T10 devices only. When you activate a Firebox T10 device on the WatchGuard website, you can select Rapid Deploy Quick Start and set the device management passphrases for your device. WatchGuard automatically creates a configuration file for you. When you connect the Firebox T10 device to the internet and power it on, the device automatically requests the configuration file from WatchGuard and sets the device management passphrases to the ones you've specified. So what does Rapid Deploy Quick Start actually configure on the Firebox T10? In addition to the default security settings that apply to all WatchGuard devices, the Rapid Deploy Quick Start configuration enables and configures the HTTP and HTTPS proxies with settings recommended by WatchGuard. It also enables web blocker, gateway antivirus, and reputation-enabled defense with their recommended settings. 
Any time a Firebox or XTM device has been configured with Rapid Deploy, you can see that reflected on the product details page for that device. For example, here you can see which method of Rapid Deploy was used, that a configuration file has been uploaded for the device, and whether the device has contacted WatchGuard to request the configuration file. Your device will request the configuration file when it starts for the first time, or any time you reset it to its factory default settings. With Rapid Deploy, you have options to help you get a Firebox or XTM device set up quickly and efficiently, and without the need for local IT staff when you want to deploy remote devices. For more information about Rapid Deploy, visit the WatchGuard website.